Mountains are rocky masses that are higher than the surroundings with steep slopes. Mountains are formed as a result of several kinds of movements on Earth's surface. For example, a volcanic eruption. A long chain of mountains is called a range. On the basis of the process of formation, mountains are classified into fold mountains, volcanic mountains, and block mountains. Volcanic mountain. The surface of Earth is cool, but the temperature deep inside it is very high. The rocks here are in molten form. The lava, a hot magma, comes out through a crack or an opening when a volcano erupts. When they cool and become solid rock, volcanic mountains are formed. Mount Fuji in Japan and Mount Vesuvius in Italy are examples of volcanic mountains. Block Mountain Sometimes the crust, outer layer of earth, cracks up. When the land between two cracks or faults gets pushed up, block mountains are formed. The Black Forest Mountain in Germany and the Nilkiris in India are block mountains. Fold Mountain When two large land masses collide with each other, fold mountains are formed. The Himalayas in India and the Alps in Europe are fold mountains. India has various kinds of landforms and physical features. India can be broadly divided into six natural regions. The Greater Himalayas or the Himadri Range has the tallest mountains. They are covered with snow all through the year. The highest peak in the world is Mount Everest in Nepal. The highest peak in India is Mount Kanchenjunga. Perennial rivers such as the Ganga, Yamuna, Brahmaputra and Satlaj start from the Himadri. The Lesser Himalayas The middle ranges of the northern mountain ranges are called the Lesser Himalayas or Himachal. Shimla, Nenital, Darjeeling and other hill stations are situated in the Lesser Himalayas. The southernmost ranges of the Himalayan mountains are the Shivalik Range. Dehradun is an important dune or valley of this range. Peak Mountains have pointed tops called peaks. Mount Everest in the Himalayas is the highest peak in the world. Pass A low, narrow passage or a gap between the mountains is known as a pass. For example, the Hindukush and Suleiman Mountains to the northwest of India have the Khyber Pass and the Bolan Pass respectively. A pass helps people to cross the mountains. Valley A low-lying area between hills or mountains is called a valley. Valleys are formed by the river flowing through them. The river makes the valley fertile. Kashmir and Switzerland are two of the most beautiful valleys in the world. The northern plains stretch from Indus Valley in the west to the Brahmaputra Valley in the east. Since many rivers flow through the plains and bring rich soil to them, the northern plains are very fertile. Some narrow plains lying between the Ghats and the sea are known as coastal plains. The Konkan, Malabar, and Koromandel coasts are the distinct coastal plains in India. The plateau region includes the Malwa Plateau and the Chota Nagpur Plateau to the north of the Vindhyas and the Deccan Plateau to the south. The Great Indian Desert or the Thar Desert lies in the state of Rajasthan. The plants normally found here are cactus, kikar and babul. People here are normally nomads. Island a landmass surrounded by water on all sides is called an island. Examples Sri Lanka, Japan, Great Britain and the Andaman and Nicobar Islands and Lakshadweep in India. Peninsula A landmass surrounded by water on three sides and joined to land on the fourth side is called a peninsula. For example, the southern part of India is a peninsula. River a large stream of water is called a river. 
delta. The river, while flowing down the mountains, brings rich alluvial soil with it. This gets deposited at the mouth of the sea. The river gets divided and subdivided before it flows into the sea. The sediments deposited by the river form a triangle-shaped landmass called a delta. Example: the Ganga Brahmaputra Delta. Estuary. Sometimes rivers do not form a delta. They flow directly into the sea without dividing themselves. This wide area of water is called an estuary. Example: the Hooghly Estuary. Strait. A narrow passage of water joining two large water bodies is called a strait. They separate two land masses. For example, the Park Strait joins the Bay of Bengal with the Indian Ocean. It separates India from Sri Lanka. Isthmus. A narrow strip of land joining two large land masses is called an isthmus. For example, North America and South America. are joined by the isthmus of panama africa and asia are joined by the isthmus of suez sea a sea refers to a large body of water connected to an ocean seas are usually close to the land examples the arabian sea the bay of bengal and the mediterranean sea